All right, so this is uh, the installation. They have ripped in Vermont. Right now we're flow testing it. We have 984 gallon a minute. Uh, we're gonna check the lift on this, but the uh, pipe is 16 foot long uh, from the top down to the bottom and it's submerged. We'll take a look. We're using a uh, ETT strainer, stream strainer. It has about a foot and a half, uh, maybe a little more water over top of it. So I'm probably thinking the lift is in the neighborhood of maybe 14 feet here. We'll get that confirmed whenever we uh, we look at the uh, final gauge reading on the vacuum. Anyway, so it lives stowed over there. We simply spin it, drop it down, and uh, the pump is hooked up to it. So they carry a 16-foot length of uh, six-inch hard sleeve, which makes that nice to look at. The uh, water dropping down is just drains on the bridge. We're using a flow monster, or a uh, hose monster up there to record flow. Uh, we'll run up there real quick, take a look. Hang on. So here we are up top. The uh, pump is sitting there, and it's going to be a, a, probably going to use this for a tank and fill site. Uh, it's a 1,250 gallon in a pumper, but it also could be used uh, as a supply piece back into the village. And of course, they have a vacuum tanker, which the vacuum tanker can come in and load directly off of that. So it works just fine, even though it's a fairly high lift, 1,250 pumper, and we're doing a good job, really close to 1,000 gallon a minute.